About the uh, hotness index, how do you work that one out? This is for the social media. Um, with one thing that I'm worried about is uh, gamification of, and so the whole idea is that by adding different metrics, you can sort the good stuff from the rubbish. So if something's been tweeted a million times, it's probably decent. And do you not think there's a danger with encouraging all researchers to tweet their research? They can just bigger, they can just make their rubbish research seem to have more impact. Um, there's a risk of that, I guess. Um, I, would, I would like to think, of course, working in a, a lovely university, that none of our researchers produce total rubbish. Um, but it might help highlight if there's a particularly bad record, actually. If they are tweeting a really bad record, it might add to the pressure to get them to update it and deal with it. Um, I think I'd rather have stuff being seen, though, than being accidentally discovered sort of, you know, later on. Better to have it seen right away and any problems sort of brought forward in discussions on, on blogs or in the repository than have it just sit there idly and then 15 years later have someone point out that it's sort of not useful. So I think, I think it's worth the risk in the same way that um, engaging in any of the social media channels is, is usually worth the risk. Let's follow up on that, which is there's quite a lot of work on trying to evaluate authority in Twitter. So looking at, for example, not just the number of followers, but also the rate of retweeting, there's actually people here doing research on that, which could feed into what you're doing. Is that Miles Osborne and co? Yes, yeah. yes I'm aware. <laughs> there's lots of different things going on all over the place, actually, and I think in the next couple of years we'll have some really interesting stuff coming forward. Yeah.